Thank you, our wordsmith, for penning that down. Now to our first feature. Stamps of Memory is an exhibition of works of art by a contemporary artist who is sharing stories of different experiences at the My Dream Gallery in Lagos. It's contemporary artist Morakio Oluafemi's debut exhibition at the My Dream Gallery in Lagos, titled Stamps of Memory. As the name implies, it takes the viewers on a journey from the past to the present. I do basically nostalgia arts with a um, lot of vintage feeling. My painting is all about reviving your old memories because I feel like what's really happening now, people have forgotten how we started life. Like um, seeing my works, you can see there's one titled um, Jelly Osimi. In the painting, we see a child carrying a slate. But now people are fond of using tablets and all that. So it's about to bring your memory back about when life was still easier. A lot of works of art capture moments from the golden oldies. Items that will certainly resonate with people who were around during that period are seen in this nostalgic exhibition. When you see my works, I want to connect with your background. See my works, you see the architectures, the collapsible gates, how we used to, how we used to leave the old cars, the vintage um, clothes, fabrics. When I, was, when I was young, my dad used to collect stamps, post stamps. So that's what part of the things that initiated my heart. I don't want to be able to connect with your background because without you understanding your background, you can't know your future. Blast to the past, because these are the stories you hear your parents and your grandparents say that this is how Nigeria was back then. And that's the hope we're trying to now achieve, that we want to get back to those good old days, uh, or we're trying to recreate those good old days. So this is a reminder that, yeah, Nigeria was a good place, not now, but back then it was something worth living or striving for. So that's what his works, how his works speak to me. so to speak, you know, for you to take things that are not, almost no longer in existence and try to create things from them, I think it's a beautiful thing. Record player, sewing machine, old vehicles and architecture, as well as fashion elements of the 80s and 90s are just a part of what's on display. Is art uh, distinctive? Because you don't really see that this kind of style anywhere else. So once you see the way he combines colors and his subjects and everything, you know that yes, yes, this is Morak. This is Morak's work, and that is and the medium he chooses, the painting, and then what he's trying to describe with the stamp work. Yeah, you know it's him. So distinctive. That's how I describe his work. I like the stamp idea behind the works. Uh, and then also, you see a lot of um, things that have maybe gone out of fashion right now. You know, you have the transistor radio, and uh, I think there was one I saw the car to the five. Is it five or four? Right. And, uh, yeah. Um, so it's like a bit of a nostalgic. Um, throwback, you know, to the past, and then the, even the stamps, the idea of stamps, I don't know when last you went to the post office to post a letter, I, 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 have, I don't think I've, in the last 10 to 15 years, I don't think I've ever got to the post office to post any letter, so it's kind of like a, a, a throwback into the 
too distant past, but it also tells you how much how things have changed over the years. The artist believes everyone can learn a lot from the past in order to resolve the present and face the future. I'm, I'm happy by the works I'm seeing, uh, and the title of the show, which is a uh, stamp of memory. Yeah, I really love what I'm seeing. You know, it takes me back memory lane. Some things we did, you know, back then. Uh, for some of us who were born in the in the eighties, <laughs> we saw some. Th I've seen some things that you know remind me of you know way back. I want people to me. I see my work. I want people to connect with how things were, how we grew up, how we live, how things were being done. Now we are in a fast-paced world. People, internet has taken over everything. If all life was more simpler. This senior art director who is into advertising, specialized in painting at Yaba College of Technology, also known as Yaba Tech, brings back the good old days, which has been the inspiration behind his solo show.